tapping, it feels amazing. It is a short-term fix to a long-term issue of finding a good woman. I mean, all you gotta do is sit down, you get comfortable, and then you just pull out your, pause. Come on, <laughs> you pull out your phone, bro. <laughs> what did you think I was gonna say? You see, it helps you when you're bored, when you can't sleep, and it lets you fulfill your wildest fantasy. It feels so damn good that over 96% of men do it regularly. That other 4%, I think they're lying on the survey. Now that we've given the act, it's due. Let's fap together and see what would happen if you do this every single day. Day one, this is your initial euphoria. But first, you need to understand exactly what fapping is. It's not what you think. Fapping is the act of self-stimulation to achieve sexual pleasure. It doesn't matter if you're watching corn, scrolling through TikTok, reading a magazine, or you're just daydreaming. If you are touching your private part to feel good, you're fapping. The moment you do it the first time, you're gonna immediately get a mental boost, almost like a power up in a video game. This is what we call initial euphoria. Your body's gonna power you up with dopamine. This is the reward chemical that makes you feel happy, makes you keep going. Then serotonin and oxytocin will flood your brain and your body. This is gonna make you feel relaxed and calm. Next, your brain and your body will start releasing endorphins. This is gonna increase your self-esteem, but then your body will start producing more testosterone, which is gonna make you feel more confident. And finally, once you're done with the act, your body will produce prolactin, which is what helps you relax and go to sleep. You see, when you're fapping, your junk is becoming erect through blood flow, which is actually incredibly important for your health and for your junk so you never have to deal with erectile dysfunction. You see, when you increase blood flow to your junk, you're also increasing the amount of fibroblasts, which have been scientifically proven to prevent conditions like ED. The only problem is that to do this, you typically need to watch corn, which as you've probably already found out, will lead you into a dark rabbit hole. The easiest solution to this is to use something to increase blood flow to that region without having to watch that stuff. Something like the penis pump from Bathme, it increases blood flow by using a combination of liquid and vacuum sealed air pump. I've used this personally, it is incredible. And it even increases the size of it naturally. And don't just take my word for it, you can go read reviews on their site, but I have it linked down below. But within seconds of doing it your first time, you go from feeling like a level one player to a high level boss. But as you're about to find out, this feeling, it's only temporary and it goes downhill very fast. Because on day three, you will experience short-term side effects. You see, by day three, you're gonna continue fapping every day, but you're gonna change your visual stimulation because at this point, you're gonna start to experience two of the worst short-term side effects. The first is called sexual desensitization. This happens when you become so used of giving yourself pleasure with just your hand that now, a woman's body, it doesn't actually spark pleasure anymore or interest. One study found that there is a direct correlation between men who fat too much and their ability to be stimulated by their partners. The second side effect is dopamine desensitization. This happens when you become so accustomed to watching corn and its content that you no longer find normal women or normal sex attractive. By now, you're becoming both physically and emotionally desensitized to sex, which can lead to something called erectile dysfunction. In other words, you can't get it up anymore. And if you have no idea if you have it or you're down this path, on day three, you can test if you have it using the stamp test. I want you to purchase a row of postage stamps and place them along the length of your junk right before you go to sleep. If you wake up and the stamps are torn, congratulations, buddy. It means you don't have ED and you probably got happy in the middle of the night, but if they're intact, means that you got no blood flow down there. You didn't get happy in the middle of the night. You might be suffering from ED. Now, fixing your ED isn't easy. Fortunately, one study found that if participants engaged in at least 40 minutes of daily exercise over just a six month period, they had a substantial improvement in their erectile dysfunction. And that's because every time you exercise, you're increasing blood flow, even to that region. And that's what you need to increase the health of your private parts. Now, while exercise is an easy and natural and free solution, you can speed up the process of this by using the penis pump from Bathme. You see, in just two months, over 92% of men who use this product saw an increase in their erections and a decrease in their erectile dysfunction, but this pump doesn't stop there. Look, this is a medical device. It is the only one that's FDA cleared. And in Europe, you actually have to get a prescription for it. That's how good this is. But here in the US, you're lucky. You can buy it over the counter. This device doesn't just solve your ED. I'm telling you from personal use, I've used this thing, bro. This thing actually makes you bigger. So even if you don't need extra inch down there, it gives you an extra inch and extra inch in thickness. When I used it the first time, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was shocked, bro. You end up getting an atomic weapon down there. So use responsibly, both for your ED issues or for just personal enlargement, 
This thing is amazing. FDA cleared, it's natural, and all of you can use it. And you no longer have to be on the naughty website to increase blood flow and give your meal package the health it needs. If you guys wanna check out Bathmate, right now they're running the greatest sale ever for Black Friday. This is the time to shop. You've probably seen me talk about this a few times already because this tool is amazing for men. If you've been wanting to pick one up at the lowest price possible, right now is your time to shop. If you guys click the link down below, they're having a Black Friday sale. This thing's a steal, bro. And look, don't just take my word for it. Go look at the reviews. Go read the Reddit forums. This thing works. If I were you, I'd pick one up right now for Black Friday. It's going to be a secret weapon for you for the next year, bro. I'm telling you, you're going to be hooked when you look at the size increase. If you guys want to check out Bathmate, it'll be linked down below. By this point, you'll have experienced the initial euphoria that comes from fapping every day, followed by a drop and a diminish in returns from doing it every day. Finally, you're starting to feel both the negative physical and mental side effects of performing this act daily. If you're at this point, you should stop now because if you don't, you'll be experiencing long-term side effects for the rest of your life. But let's be real, most of you won't stop now. So what happens when you're on day seven? This is when the long-term side effects start to settle in. By day seven, all these short-term side effects you've been facing will start to slowly morph into long-term ones. These are going to be issues that are going to weigh you down and you, you will have to go through life with these poisons just weighing you down. So to keep things simple, here's every position that's going to drag you down from fapping every single day. First, you're going to develop a habit of negative reinforcement. Because your mind is conditioned to get that fix from digital stimulation, your brain is going to lower your self-esteem so you stay isolated and look for that digital stimulation again. Next, you're going to develop a hypersexual disorder where you now find anything digital sexual and now it's stopping your work and studies because every time you're working or study, you have to go and do it. After that, you're going to develop dopamine dysregulation where your body is just going to randomly produce high amounts of dopamine followed by low amounts. Seemingly for no reason, during those lows, you're going to feel like you're forced to fap to try to bring those levels back to the highs just to feel somewhat normal or somewhat good. You'll also develop avoidance coping where anytime you experience negative emotions like anxiety, stress, or sadness, you're going to turn to fapping to fix it. And finally, you're going to develop the worst of them all, cognitive distortion. This is when your mind completely blocks out the negative side effects so you don't even think about it, allowing you to keep fapping without the awareness of the damage it's doing to you. At this point, you're probably a full-blown addict to fapping and you're going to experience real-world erectile dysfunction. If you're at this point, if any of this sounds familiar, I need you to go through this 10-point checklist I'm about to show you. Do you have a BMI over 25? Do you sit for more than six hours a day? Do you exercise less than 160 minutes a week? Do you smoke more than five cigarettes a day? Do you drink more than five alcoholic drinks a week? Do you eat fast food more than twice a week? Do you sleep less than eight hours a day? Do you eat added sugars every day? Do you do you smoke cannabis more than once a week? And do you go to bed past midnight more than three times a week? Look, if you're only doing about three of these on the list, just cut those out and you're going to improve your ED pretty quickly. But if you're doing more than three of these, plus you're fapping, you're going to need something way stronger to fix any ED issues you might have. And I don't want you guys to hop on meds or any prescription, bro. Do it the natural way. Go check out bath bait and check out their penis pump. The reason is this natural device addresses the root cause of your problem, which is your blood flow to your private area. It fixes this by using a water pump to stimulate blood flow instead of you having to rely on your own body, which is already jacked up from all the corn that you're watching. Over time, that blood flow gives your junk the nutrients it requires. That's why 82% of men resolve their ED by using this product. And on top of that, you get the added benefit that you also actually make it bigger and thicker. And I'm telling you this from personal experience when I used it, it's gonna be kind of shocking. The first time I used it, I was like, what the hell? That like, I've never seen that thing that big. That's just a plus. And then on top of all of that, they're having the biggest Black Friday sale they've ever had, which means that if you've ever wanted this, you've seen it before, you want to try it, right now is the time to act. Because after this, you're going to have to wait a whole year paying full price. I don't want you to pay full price. I would click the link down below and go check them out right now. Now we're on to day 30, which is what I call overstimulation. By day 30, this initial euphoria will have completely worn off. And your junk, it's not going to be working as well which is going to make it even worse. And the fapping, it won't even feel good anymore. Here's why. You see, when you fap the first couple of times, you get this huge spike in dopamine. For context, if your baseline dopamine is 100%, the first time you fap, you're going to spike that dopamine to 200%. But by day two, it's only going to spike to about 195%. On day three, 
it's going to drop to around 190%. By day 30, your dopamine's only spiking to about 110%. The reason you feel a bigger boost on day one rather than day 30 is because our brains are wired to seek out new experiences for our survival. Therefore, your dopamine, it's only closely linked to anything new, to anticipation and the excitement of a new experience. So when you fat for the 30th day in a row, you're going to start to feel full blown signs of overstimulation. This means that the way you feel over fapping won't be quite as good as you did the first time. And now you're just doing it. This is known as the law of diminishing returns. With fapping, this process leads to more men seeking out unusual and darker ways so they can find something new and get that dopamine spike again. So this is when you start exploring darker fantasies to bring out that dopamine spike back to 200%. If you're doing this, you're now deep into the process of addiction. Save yourself, you need to quit right now. Otherwise, it may eventually be too late. Now, if you're listening to this, and any of this sounds relatable to you, I sure hope you quit and regain back that self-control. Because if you reach day 100 of doing this every single day, these long-term side effects become permanent side effects where you no longer can operate. That's why day 100 and above, I call this the loneliness phase. And this, and in that stage, that's the stage I want none of you to reach.